And then, what up, what up, what up? Welcome back to another edition of the Bad Podcast. Brad and Dwayne, my brother Brad. What are we talking about today, <laughs> man? Man, we're going to talk about community, but we're also going to talk about purpose, motive, and intent. So I got a good one here with a comeback story. When mm. everything seems to be going against you, remember that an airplane takes off against the wind, not with it. Ooh, I like that, brother. Let's get into it. Hey, good job, guys. Good job. Mental battles. Mental battles. What it look like, what it be like, what it do. Back here for another episode of the Bad Podcast. Brad and Dwayne, and we have a special guest. We're going to jump into it, but we also are live currently on Facebook and on YouTube, man. So shout out to the live folks. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you tag somebody. Let them know that you're watching and listening to your favorite podcast, The Bad Podcast. So Brad, man, who we got with us today, brother? So we got a friend of mine, Lacey. And uh, Lacey is one of our sponsors for my hometown, my hometown 5K <laughs> and uh, workout. And uh, her name is Lacey. And I want you to take a second, Lacey, and introduce yourself. Tell us, tell, tell the listeners a little bit about yourself and why you're here. Sure. Um, so I've been with E2M since back during COVID, November 2020. Um, tons of life changes and a couple of friends of mine were seeing some pretty awesome life stuff happen with E2M. And I was like, I have not much to do during this time. And um, I dove in head first and um, I had recently went through a divorce and was on my own with my three kids. And it was exactly what my life needed at that time. Um, I've definitely fallen off at certain times throughout my time with E2M, but um, it's been life changing for me. It's now uh, just a part of my life and actually so many friends of mine. And when I saw that we were going to be in Lakewood for a run and my company is local and we're a small, not small, small but big uh, company. I was like, what a perfect opportunity for us to work together and just some promote some really awesome stuff and to support some local high schools. And here we are. Well, one of the things that you said there, I, I always like to take what you say and then I'll apply it to the fitness journey. Um, one of the things that you said was your friends, right? You have a lot of friends. That's your, that's your insulation, the community, right? Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's, that's one of the biggest components that E2M has that separates from so many other fitness companies, nutrition companies, gyms, you know, so on and so forth. Um, let's talk about your friends, right? So if you have a, a group of friends and they are just you know, they're, they're against the grain. They, they push back with everything that you say. Hey, I'm going for a run. Why? Hey, I'm going to do this. Why? Why? I'm going to eat that. Why? All right. What kind of role do your friends play um, in, in your journey with this, with this comeback story? We're all about the comeback story. Today, yeah. So. Um, huge, huge. What's really crazy is that I feel like E2M has exploded all over, especially in this area. I would say the bulk of my friends are actually in E2M. Whether or not they're currently active is a different story. I mean, life ebbs and flows. Mm -hmm. um, but it is really awesome that like over the last couple of years, as more and more people, as I'm sharing as friend, I have a good friend, Nicole, uh, who's super active in the group and is incredible. And she shares about it as well. And the longer we do this, the more people jump on. Mm -hmm. And it's now just become this thing that every once in a while, somebody will, I, I share about it in my stories a lot on social media and every once in a while, somebody will send a message and ask what it's about. But I think what people most connect with is when you're seeing your friends to see success with something and you know that they're real people that are seeing real results and you see them out and about and you're like, wow, they really look good. Um, that it's, it's, easy to see that there's, you know, really no BS, that this is legit. And um, I think it's easy to buy into something like that when you see people you trust having such big success. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Real and raw, right? I mean, um, you, you see it firsthand with your friends and, and like you were saying, like you're out and about and you see so-and-so and you're like, whoa, like, boom, you know, the, the wheels start <laughs> turning. What are you doing? How did you yeah. do this? So on and so forth. Um, I just ran into a friend recently and she did the I'm not even going to name it, but she's doing a weight loss um, <laughs> uh, pill, 
we'll, we'll just say that, you know, um, but she, she, uh, she lost a bunch of weight. Okay. And if, if you can take something like that, if you can cut a corner or cheat the system and lose weight, that's good. All right. But you know, when you talk about, um, longevity, I want you to think about something and this is for the listeners, not necessarily you, but I want you to think about something at some point in your life, you're going to have to make a pivot and, and teach yourself how to eat and teach mm-hmm. yourself how to move your body. And that's what E2M is. And that's what eager to run is. So let's, let's talk about that. And, and, and again, this is all about your journey and your comeback story. Um, so you came in 2020. All right. Mm-hmm. Did you have a fitness background at all? Yeah, I was a big jock in high school. I was uh, a really big jock in high school. That was, li- I don't, I don't know how I would have got through high school without sports, but what happened know. after that was um, I was married and had, kids right out of high school and 12 years go by and you realize you haven't really done much. And, uh, I, I was at the point where, um, I had kind of dipped my toes back in the water, but not, I have really hadn't thrown myself all the way back in. And, um, I got a Peloton and I tried my first ride on it and I I died. I was embarrassed. (laughs) I was dead and it was only it was only a warm-up ride so (laughs) i had the background and i knew what i was capable of um and for so much of my life it was kind of a part of my identity that i was a very athletic person um and i missed it right you have kids life gets busy you kind of lose yourself in that and i i was kind of at that point yeah and 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 the thing is is like when you have kids it is easy to lose sight of what the, you know, what is important because your kids are important, right? Mm-hmm. Dwayne has kids. I have kids. You have kids. We all can relate in that sense. Um, and it's extremely important, but it's also extremely important to lead through action and, and, you know, lead a positive life and, and show your kids, this is normal. You know, mm-hmm. I, I, I remember growing up and like my mom, my mom, man, shout out to my mom. She'd be always working out. And I, and I, I, that was a normal piece of living for me. Like, Hey, we're going down to the fire hall. We're going to, we're going to lift the weights and, and, and go for a run. Like that was normal. And the more times that you do that, you're showing your kids, Hey, this, this is a part of life. It's very important, right? It, it gives you some sort of value. And you keep on saying, you keep on saying, dive in head first. <laughs> I, I I love hearing dive in head first because too many people, what they do is they like to dip their toe in the water. All right. Mm-hmm. Make, make sure that they kind of like it before they dive in. And most times if they dip their toe in the water, they're not going to dive in because the water's not to the, to the temperature that they want to see or want to feel right. That's fitness, especially if you've been out of the game, right? If you've been out of the mm-hmm. game and you, you dive in and you do that five minute warm up ride on the Pelly boy. Whoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow wow I, I i have been gone for a minute but that's that's dipping the toe in the water but you dove in head first you didn't you didn't think you just man tom, tom cruise and in, in top gun don't think <laughs> just do right don't think yeah. just do so and that's and that's what you're doing now is you're is you're doing and you're and you're leading through action and i'd love to see it Thank you. I, I had to come to peace with the with the all or something because my kids are very active and uh, there's a lot of days that I am struggling to find a window um, and it was not pretty at the beginning and sometimes it still isn't like last night it wasn't but I was able to find like a 23 minute window where I was able to fast forward and get a circuit done um, and I used to not be okay with that. I was like I'm either doing all of it or I'm going to do nothing of it and then I would find myself missing four days in a row or something and then I felt terrible as a failure because I knew I was capable of doing something um, and I think that's a big part of it is you you just have to be okay with sometimes not giving 100% and just giving something. Um, and that really was a life shift for me. And my kids are helpful. Uh, my, I have a six year old and she really doesn't remember life without mom active, whereas my other two kids do. And it's crazy the difference between her and my other two kids with even she'll set my weights up and she'll work out with me uh, much quicker than my other two older ones will do those things because she's never seen She's never seen mom in any other eyes other than somebody that is active, which I think is great. And uh, for the other two, it's a different lesson that you can start from nothing because they didn't know me back in the day when I was in my glory years as a jock. <laughs> I love that. So, you know, the the all or something uh, was pivotal for me as well, um, because that that actually was the kind of person I was like I was 100 miles an hour. Or zero, like it was no yeah. in between. So I can definitely relate to that uh, when it comes to just you know fitness journey and the same thing in general. You know, I think we've just been trained by society like if you can't 
be the hundred percent best and you shouldn't do it at all. That's not the case. You know, modifications get you results. You know, if you can, if you can't do a whole circuit, if you take a walk, you know, if you, if you can't get all the meals and get one meal in, and it's just a different mindset. And that's the one thing that I love about the program and, 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 and you seeing it firsthand, like, especially with a busy mom. And I also want to go back because I remember we did a video with uh, chef Jenny and she talked about, you know, how moms, naturally want to sacrifice everything for the kids like even their health and i'm sure that's something you went through you know during yeah. that time was like i'm gonna die on this hill for these kids i don't care <laughs> like i i can be a slob just as long as my kids are living and it, it's a mental thing for mothers because they just they want their kids to, to be healthy they want the kids to have everything they need and they they're yeah. so willing to neglect themselves my wife went through this exact same thing like i remember before we found e2m like that whole mindset of like, you know, I was trying to go to the gym. She's like, I don't care about the gym as long as these girls are fed and, you know, all of that. So uh, big kudos to you, man, because that that that's the theme of this this episode is to come back and 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 not giving up, not quitting and, and diving head first. But I want to change gears, man, because, uh, you know, we're here. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're here for a reason. And, and you, you mentioned the company, uh, for those that don't know, cause you know, this is, this is our chance to kind of put a little spotlight on it. Uh, talk about, uh, slick text, which I use pretty often, uh, for E2M and, uh, and your role there. Let, let's get into that a little bit. Sure. Yeah. So slick text is a text message marketing platform, um, which basically in layman's terms means is we, uh, we allow you to connect with your audience in whatever capacity uh, through text message. I think it's no secret that email has kind of, it used to be the go-to and it has become much more obsolete. And when you send a text message, people see that within a few seconds. And um, Slick Text uh, was founded right here. Our founder, Matt, is, is a hometown boy um, in Lakewood. And I am uh, the customer support manager uh, here at Slick Text. And so basically what that means is I oversee we have a team of uh, specialists there that help um, kind of in the world of customer service, but on a little bit of a higher level, because what they do is they uh, they help you get the best usage of the service and they're there for the long term. So um, they're amazing people. Uh, they make you feel human. Uh, we remember names and things like that. You know, uh, being awesome on the support end of things is something that's really important to our business. And um, we just allow you to connect with your people. So I'll give you some examples. We have schools uh, that send out, you know, uh, closing uh, messages for winter things and stuff like that. Um, restaurants, bars, uh, hair salons, anything like that. You might get texts when it's, you know, specials on Wednesday with a certain dinner or something like that, or even special discount offers for stores. Uh, maybe you left something in your cart and, you know, you want to throw a 20% off coupon, anything like that. We allow you a really awesome expert platform to be able to connect with your customers. And one of the things that I love most about Slick Text is we're a really small company, uh, but that doesn't we mean we're small on the other end of things. Um, it's a really phenomenal platform and um, it's a great group of people that care a lot about what we're doing and a lot about the business because it's kind of still a, a tech startup in the world of, of companies. It's pretty young and everybody uses texting. So I am constantly everywhere I go now, I see opportunities for people to be able to use our platform to connect with their people in whatever capacity, you know, that they are connecting with a certain audience. I love that. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hopping in on this, Brad. Um, <laughs> I, one, one of my favorite, uh, I guess you could say personalities, uh, is, uh, Gary V and about five years ago, five, six years ago, he talked about the transition that your, your company is doing about going to text message, um, for content creators, uh, for everybody, not just, you know, big businesses or schools and, and talked about being able to control your community because, you know, if you're a content creator, you know, social media, you're 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 subject to Facebook, you know, you're subject sure. to to Twitter, you're subject to, you know, Instagram, whatever the platform that your audience is. But when you have uh when you have access to a company like Slick Text that can communicate directly to your audience, you can give them the exclusive and, and all of that. Um, so I, I know you mentioned, you know, kind of a more bigger brand, but do you guys work with maybe smaller uh, entities oh, sure. like content creators and things like that? Yeah, yeah, we actually um, 
we work, we have several larger content creators that work with Slick Text um, and, and even smaller ones. I, for a while, was doing something small. And it doesn't matter how big the group is you're trying to connect with, whether it's five people or whether it's 50,000. Um, we work with a lot of small, small names, a lot of big names. It really doesn't matter. And the cool thing is, is that we have the ability to customize our packages and um, to whatever whatever it is that you need. Uh, so it can be something big, it can be something small, um, but we'll meet you where you're at so that we're doing exactly what you need. Uh, we also have the ability to automate a lot of stuff, which is cool because we're all busy and nobody has time to spend several hours a day to do stuff like that, to connect with our people. Um, and we make it really easy to kind of front load things and set up stuff in advance so you don't have to worry about it. You can just hit a button and the messages will go. Um, but yeah, you don't have to be big. Actually, the majority of our customers, um, especially at the beginning, we're smaller. We're smaller people. Love it. Love it. All right, Brad, you can get back into the motivation stuff. That took care of business. <laughs> no, <man. laughs> I love it. You know, it, it's really neat to have this conversation and get you on here as a guest because I, I, I know through the grapevine who Matt is, the, the, the founder of the company. I actually taught one of his younger brothers many, many, many moons ago. Oh, that's um, cool. Yeah. Um, and, you know, just to see, you know, where Slick Text was and to see where it is t today, um, it's just really neat. And, you know, this is a fitness podcast, right? This is a growth podcast, you know, and all those things, motivation. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, when it comes to slick text and then when it comes to fitness and when it comes to this, this meetup that we're having in a week and a half in Lakewood, let's go, man, I'm excited already. But, um, <laughs> you know, you, you, you're going to, you're going to see a ton of people, you know, and you're talking about small businesses, big, big businesses. You're talking about all these influencers, small and big. You're going to see people from all walks of life come together as one. You're going to see all people from all fitness levels come together as one. You're going to see all people from different demographics and different ethnicities and, and different beliefs. And none of that matters, right? None of that matters when you're doing something for the grander purpose of, of life. Um, and, and it's just kind of neat to hear you talk about Slick Text and, you know, where it was. And, you know, you're tying in and helping all these people out because that's what E2M is. E2M is that network. Slick text is that network tying people in together yeah. and you guys, and you're going to see it. Have you been to a meetup before Lacey? I actually haven't. The last one that was local, I was sick or my kids were, so I haven't, I am going to fangirl mm. right out. I am mm. not going to lie. <laughs> I am so excited. My I'm going to fanboy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so pumped. Yeah. It's, it, and, and like I said, um, it's hard to describe the energy that's created at these things. And I always tell everybody, if you have fallen off the wagon, if you've fallen off the tracks, somehow, some way, get yourself to a meetup, get yourself to a 5K because you will be rejuvenated like not like right now. And, and I'm telling you, the energy that's created at these meetups, it will take you the next week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, because you feel so much life within you. And, uh, you know, you get to talk to the people that you see on social media all yeah. day, all day. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And Hey, uh, so you got a, you say you got a small team, uh, yeah. is, is the squad going to be present? Yeah. Yeah. Right. I actually, I don't know. Most everybody is going to be there. And I think the majority of us are actually, our kids are coming with us as well. Um, we're all super psyched about it. Um, and again, all walks of life as far as where we're all at physically. Some of us are doing things all the time and some of us are just getting started and some of us are doing nothing. Um, but even for us on that side, it's a team bonding thing for us to be able to do it together. So we will absolutely be there and we're, we're all pumped. I'm super psyched. Yeah. No, we're, we're, we're excited. I, and like I said, I will fanboy. I will fanboy it up, man. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm very excited. Slick text crew. Yeah, y'all definitely, we'll definitely be uh be excited to have you guys there. So uh, Brad, you. man, anything uh, before I start this transition up here? All right, good deal. So uh, Lacey, right here, uh, before we get into the transition period, um, for those that don't, uh, you know, uh, you know, let them know how to find out about Slick Text, where to get information, and then any words of encouragement. Somebody that, because you know, you are you were inspired by somebody, you could inspire somebody else. Any words of encouragement you have for uh, a current member or anybody that's, that's passing by, uh, can you do those two things? And then I'll get into my part. For sure. Yeah. As far as encouragement goes, I would just say, I think for me, most being a single mom with three kids completely on my own, the biggest obstacle for me was 
where am I going to have time? And ultimately one day I just got sick of not feeling my best and decided that at some point my kids are all going to be gone and like what it, what is left for me? And I just to start, decided to one day start and it wasn't perfect and I still some days have to figure things out. Um, but it has truly, even people in my life, uh, I actually talked to my dad earlier because I was nervous about coming on here. Um, and he said, he made mention that it's changed me. It's allowed me to have my confidence back, which is something that I didn't even realize I had lost. Um, and I just, I'm happier all the way around. I feel better all the way around because of this group, because of the habits that I have, because of the community that's here and the friends that I've made within this group. Um, and I would just say, quit waiting because there's never going to be a there's never going to be a perfect time to start anything and it's going to be uncomfortable. And yes, you're going to be sore and all of that is okay because growth isn't comfortable. And I would just encourage you to, you know, jump in and start. And, you know, a month from now, you're going to be a completely different person and you'll be super thankful that you made that step. Um, and as far as slick text goes, um, you can check out our website. I would encourage all of you to go to slicktext.com, S-L-I-C-K-T-E-X-T.com. Um, you're welcome to give my amazing team a call. They are awesome people. It's 800-688-6290. Um, and check it out. See what we can do for you. Nice. Good deal. All right. So now we're going to transition into... Uh, section of the show we call the do you know or did you know moment this is a moment we actually started because of uh jeff used to do this thing on his live he'd be like do you know and he got it from the movie shrek so i got a short <laughs> clip and this is gonna be a do you know or did you know moment and i'm gonna get you to think about something that you've never said publicly that you've never uh said in another interview that people might not know about you uh at all uh, then we'll give you a video, give you a chance to think about it. It's a short video, so we'll think fast. Here we go. Do you know? All right, video is over, so I hope you're ready. What is the do you know or did you know moment about you, Lacey? Uh, this one was actually really hard for me. Uh, I guess the only thing that I can think of that most people don't know, with the exception of my team, who just recently found out, um, is that I was very, very proficient in playing the violin for a whole lot of years. I haven't picked one up in a while, uh, but most people wouldn't think that somebody that is such high energy as myself would be doing something along the lines of classical orchestra music. Um, but I played for a lot of years and really, really loved it. I love that. I, that is that's an awesome one. <laughs> Brad, what do you think? Man? <laughs> I, I, um, I, I am just so jealous of anybody that can play an instrument because I am. I, <laughs> me and instruments are not compatible. I, I'll sit at a you piano and I, I, I do, the, I do the Jaws boy. I go dun 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 dun. That's oh all gosh. I got, baby. That's all I got. Don't do that no more. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, that that is amazing. Um, I I am slightly musical. Uh, I, I can play the drums. You know, play play a little piano but the violin is a special special instrument because number one ain't got no frats like you know i'm, I'm a guitar guy like you gotta like really find you gotta find that little place to put your guitar fingers is on. hard i can't even bend my hand that way i've tried I just <laughs> well listen i can't rest that thing on my chin but enough of that anyway <laughs> Listen, we appreciate you coming on. Uh, super excited about uh, meeting you and your team next week. Uh, make sure y'all uh, grab some selfies and, uh, sure. you know, and, and what I wanted to say, uh, Brad, when we was talking about, you know, just meetups at our meetups, the 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 superstars aren't us. It's not the E2O staff. The superstars are the people that are in the trenches with you. It's, it's your friends. It's the people that you see online that you don't get to see in person. Those are the people, those are the moments, man, that 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 last forever, man. I mean, we we love y'all. We we love take pictures with everybody. We we enjoy that. But the real, real superstars that meet us are are you clients, man. So I just want to remind y'all of that. And uh Brad, what you got to say in closing, brother? I 100 percent completely agree with that. And uh, I'm going to end with this. And as we transition uh, to the end of this podcast, I'm extremely excited to, to meet you in person. I'm extremely excited to see everybody in Lakewood because it's going to be an extravaganza. But as we talk about the comeback, I want to say this. We are not defined by how hard we fall. We are defined by how fast we get back up to our feet and continue on with the journey. Amen. Till next time, y'all. Peace. <laughs>